How's it going everybody Hades here and Happy New Year! I was planning on doing a Star Sector video but I figured what better way to kick off 2020 than with a Kenshi video. I hope everybody had an excellent 2019 and hopefully 2020 will be even better. Alright first and foremost guys I would love to know how Storm Surge managed to get himself stuck up there. And also can we bring him down? It doesn't look like anyone can pick him up. You just gotta love the pathfinding in this game. Honestly 10 out of 10. Oh what is that guy think he's going apparently nowhere yeah that's right oh god the big things came back and this time they brought back up who the heck are we fighting man it looks like a bunch of dust bandits you guys know whenever i get these guys marching in formation it's about to get serious the plan is to bring two squads our warrior squad and our soldier squad to assault the cities you know if you want to call them cities the great fortress and the last stand thereby hopefully crippling the Shek kingdom even more so now we do have an event coming up i believe yes a Shek challengers event so that's why i'm opting to leave the berserker squad here yes these formations are looking quite good ah it looks like we got some trouble up ahead looks like a bunch of dead dust bandits there you go while we're in the area i figured we'd check up on the city of squin and see how they're doing and apparently they're still naked i see that is quite good that's always a good sign and it appears the city is just as dead as ever except for that guy certainly we can remedy that real quick let's see about doing that that was easy easy man so i couldn't help but notice that we accidentally brought one of these guys along it looks like one of our newer recruits albino ice wolf well i guess you're along for the ride now from where we currently are to where we're going there's a way station in the way imagine that so i figured that would be a perfect place to get some good practice being as how the tech hunters apparently declared that they were no longer my allies and they were in fact my enemies now what's this dust bandit camp this is definitely a dust bandit camp well let's just see if we can wipe it out real quick Yep, there you go. Dust Hunter Camp uh, 132 has been wiped out. Okay, this is a rather small one. Everything's really compact, really packed in there. This right here is excellent experience. A lot of green, sparse, you know, amounts of red. Not too bad. It's certainly not a cakewalk, but it's certainly nothing we can't handle. And it looks like Wolfgar got knocked unconscious. But is that it? Are we done fighting? It looks like all the fighting is done. Nope, not quite. Who is this guy? Max. Mercenary Guild. That's right. They did declare war against me. Okay. I shouldn't say war it's not like they said hey we're going to war with you they actually just said they were hostile towards me now Ooh, some of these ninja guards have decent stats and to top it off they're hivers Ooh, they're playing dead too well being as how this is not a capture hivers type of mission we'll just proceed on to the next destination which would be the great fortress right after we pick up wolfgar of course who is that a light i see yes it is who do we have here Ooh, the western hive this probably isn't the best decision i've ever made but hey oh my god that's a lot of red that is a lot more red than i was expecting that's not good at all they did a lot of damage to me right off the bat i think it was because we were all clumped together that's probably why all that red occurred but it looks like we got the upper hand now all right so it looks like some of my guys did sustain some pretty uh i don't want to say serious injuries but they are injured yeah i probably shouldn't have pushed my luck with that group i just couldn't pass up the practice the good experience i feel like we should capture some of these guys like these guys have high levels like this guy's got a 61 attack that's pretty dang good. What do my guys have, like... 40s 50s they're just leaving without their pack beasts where are you guys going you forgetting something all right let's take all right well this is great it appears kenshi crashed on me i've noticed that whenever i try to loot an animal and take their meat the game crashes that's happened to me in the past i should have known better well this sucks all right thankfully when it comes to quick saving i have that down packed with all the times you know this game has crashed on me you kind of got to train yourself to hit that f5 button or whatever it is all right let's see where we are where are we all right so i saved apparently right after attacking the way station so the western hive people should be up here somewhere you know what i must have saved before attacking the way station because these guys don't have any damage taken to them all right boys who's ready for round two not that this is going to yield any different results from the first time you know what let's just see maybe maybe not yeah no i did not think so that's a shame now i'm gonna have to track down that western hive group realistically speaking oh my god is that them that is definitely them i was just about to say realistically speaking i probably wouldn't run into them again but lo and behold there they are and it looks like they're coming straight towards me wasn't that quite convenient everything is right next door now now all i have to do is walk 10 feet over here and engage these guys there we go and this time we're spare okay there is still a bunch of red well you know what that isn't necessarily 
really bad. That's, you know, experience for us. Definitely gonna remember not to loot any of these uh, pack beasts. And I'm gonna hit F5 to quick save like that. Save successful, that's what I like to see. All right, now my legit question is, can we use these beds, these beds up here, without paying for them? Well, it doesn't look like we can even use them at all. This isn't mine. Isn't that great? I can't even purchase a bed to sleep in. Who are we fighting a, what is this, a prince? Yeah, that's a prince. Why is Bubbles here not actively, okay, he's stuck. I was wondering why he wasn't fighting. It's not like he's placed on passive or anything. He is simply stuck. That happens a lot in this game. Hopefully everything pathfinding related will be smoother in Kenshi too. Fingers crossed at least. Now I know these guys are probably playing dead. Oh, they're actually critical. Well, isn't that excellent? Ooh, some of them are even dead. That's even better. Wait, are these guys walking around getting away? Could have sworn I saw some of them walking around. Yep, there they are. Just walking around acting like nothing ever happened. What's this guy's stats? 63. Congratulations, you're single-handedly better than all my men, but together, all my men are better than you. It's all a number game, and my hivers are playing it very well. And even more fighting. Whoa, what are you doing, guy? Are you healing him? That is not allowed. Oh, God. All right, who are these guys over here? It looks like Band of Bones. What are you guys doing? Are you trying to fight? Is that what you're doing? Yep, that's certainly what they're trying to do. This guy's over here like, uh-uh, I'm not having any of it. That's right, just walk away. Ooh, useless dredge. Apparently, he's not letting him get away. Golden star for you, useless dredge. Not so useless after all. We've spent more than enough time here so let's move on once again you are stuck who's fighting over here who is this oh it's two shek doing battle i'm gonna assume kraus chosen versus band of bones my bet's on kraus chosen let's just see who wins this winner dies <laughs> And it looks like Kraus Chosen has successfully beaten uh, the Band of Bones guy. Congratulations, you get to die. Oh, you know what? We're actually not at war with Kraus Chosen, which I find interesting because I figured, you know, since we were at war with the Shek Kingdom, we'd be at war with anyone Shek related. I guess not, though. I like that. That's a nice touch. Moving on. What is that? Is that a camp? That is most certainly a camp. A Band of Bones camp. More practice. We're getting a lot of practice out here. Like, a lot of practice. I wonder if we can use their bed. Beds. Ah, yeah, we can use their beds. Well, we're definitely going to be taking advantage of that. We'd be crazy not to. All right, albino ice wolf, you got to get some clothes on. Why don't we just give you some of these dead guys clothing, a weapon. There, now you have a little bit of protection, so that's better than nothing. All right, let's go ahead and continue our journey. My guys, for the most part, are well rested, healed up, ready to rock and roll. So let's just continue on to, uh, what was it, last stand? No, the great fortress, that's it. Is that it? I'm going to assume that's it. It looks all mirage up here. For lack of better terms, let's continue on. Oh, well, this place doesn't look like anything at all. I was expecting a little bit more. It's got one little gate right here, like that's gonna hold us back. And let the assault commence. All right, right off the bat. Okay, we're doing good. Alarm raised. You guys can spread out. Don't be afraid to, uh, you know, go and explore the city. There's certainly a lot more check to be had here. I might have been able to overtake this little fortification with just one squad. But one good thing from all this fighting with the check is that we're getting a lot of good combat experience. All right, we're in their main HQ, I think. Okay, the building says it's their faction HQ, but this can't be their faction HQ. I wonder if there are going to be any notable Shek leaders here. Probably not. Not even Squin had any uh, Shek with diplomatic status. See, now who the heck are these guys? Okay, Traders Guild. This looks bad. Yes, it does. Okay, you see this right here? This is a big no-no. He's healing the Shek, and we really don't want that. I really hate to attack the Traders Guild, but they are aiding my enemies. Can I tell him to stop maybe like look at this this is just ridiculous okay guy i'm sorry but we're gonna have to attack you we can't let that slide i'm sorry traders guild they're probably gonna be hostile towards me after this at least it really wouldn't surprise me there are enough of them here oh we got one of their garus let's uh let's see what that garu has what does the garu have nothing we really want it's got some medicine though i think we will take that well surprisingly it doesn't look like the faction declared that they were hostile towards me traders guild zero apparently okay well i guess i didn't really 
really impact our relations. Awesome. Oh, yeah. That's what I like to see right there. Discovered new Kralia. What the heck is new Kralia? Oh, God. It's another one we're going to have to take out. That's awesome. As per usual, I would like to stay until the majority of these guys are dead. But it looks like a lot of them are actually in recovery comas. Although some of them are, in fact, dead, which is nice. Ooh, it looks like we got one trying to crawl way over there. Yeah, we're definitely not going to let that happen. There we go. And what's worse about this guy is he has one of our weapons, which means someone is missing a weapon. I wonder who that could be. I figure one more day here should be enough time to finish off those still clinging to their lives. Oh my god, what is going on? Did reinforcements show up? Who are we fighting? It appears we're fighting a hive caravan. Well, that's just great. More practice for us. Is anyone unconscious or in bad shape? It does not appear so. Check challengers have arrived at the central hive. Really? Oh, well, indeed they have. God, it's a madhouse out here. Would you look at this? It looks like the nomads are rushing to my aid. That's awesome. Thank you, nomads. I knew there was a reason we settled right next door to you guys. Well, this shouldn't be anything that my newly founded berserker squad shouldn't be able to handle. Yeah, why don't we go ahead and speed this up, see what the outcome is. And as we pretty much predicted, the attack was unsuccessful. Successful. I appreciate the effort guys. I really do. That was good practice for us. Way to go guys It looks like there may have been a building that we neglected to go through. I'm not sure. Is there anybody home? Yes, there is uh, Did they just take me prisoner? Is that what is that what? Ha oh god, that's what's happening They just took me prisoner. Can my guys help me? That'd be great. No, they're just standing over there Hopefully they didn't take my weapons. It looks like yes, they took my weapons great Now I got to track down the person who has my weapons and someone's got to break me out of jail. Unfortunately, I cannot find my weapons anywhere. Well, that is rather unfortunate. I guess we're gonna have to have some more weapons made for Clacker here. Until then, I guess you're gonna have to use uh, one of these katanas. Well, it does look like some of these guys are starting to die. Clearly others aren't, but as you can see, we're still dealing with those guys. But for me, enough of these guys are dead that I'm comfortable leaving and claiming victory over this, uh, this little fortress of theirs. The Great Fortress, I guess is what it's called. Clearly not so great after all. Now, we're gonna go to New Kralia, since it's closer, I'll get, uh, what's it called? Last Stand at another time. Being back in a Sten Desert really brings back the memories for me that I had with my first playthrough of this game. All right, well, this looks like a rather small post, actually. Like a really small post. Uh, you know what? Okay, this base actually belongs to Kral's Chosen. We're actually not at war with Kral's Chosen, so I wonder how this is gonna play out. I wonder if there's gonna be someone I could talk to while I'm here. Hopefully, me just showing my face won't make them attack me because that would, uh, uh, uh-oh, yep, here we go. Oh, uh, maybe not. It looks like we're attacking this guy right here. Look at that. Teamwork. That's awesome. I like that. I'll tell you what, that guy certainly didn't like it. All right, well, I thought they were gonna attack me, but it looks like they're not, which is awesome. I wonder what would happen if we, uh, step foot inside there. Okay, yep, there, that was the straw for them. Well, that kind of sucks, but you know what? They are Shek, after all. They didn't give me any warnings, any warnings whatsoever. Kraus Chosen are now hostile towards you. Yeah, that's pretty understandable, I suppose. I'm wiping out what's probably their HQ. I don't know that for a fact, but I have not come across any other Kraus chosen outposts. If this is their base and HQ, there should be someone I can talk to, or at least someone with uh, diplomatic status. Here's one called Flying Bull with a bounty of 30,000. Well, if there is indeed a faction leader, they are now humiliated with defeat. Well, I think that's going to have to do it for now. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like, a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. If you want to see more Kenshi videos and more videos like this, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Some of you may not know this, but... I have a Discord server. Definitely go ahead and check that out. Link to that is in the description below. As I said in the beginning of this video, I hope everybody had an awesome 2019. I know I sure did, and speaking in terms of how well this channel did in 2019, it was an exceptional year to say the least. Of course, 2019 wouldn't have been nearly as awesome if it wasn't for you, the viewers. I don't want to rant or anything like that. All I want to say is thank you for the support in 2019. And I hope I'll see you in 2020. Well, that's all I really have for now. Once again, thank you for watching. Happy New Year's, and I will see you next time.